All right, guys, we've officially reached the point in our studies where you've learned everything that you're supposed to for second grade, which is amazing. You guys have done an awesome, awesome job, and I'm so proud of you. Um, so you're moving into some third grade stuff. So the more you know about multiplication, the better and more prepared you're going to be for third grade, and you're gonna, your teachers are going to be so excited to see. So this week you're working on just multiplication and some review stuff from second grade. So just to remind you ways to show multiplication, we've worked with arrays, we've worked with repeated addition and equal groups. The last one is using a number line, which we used when we were doing addition. The only difference is here, since we're doing three times four, they're counting by three. So they're going three and then six and then nine and then 12. So we can see that there are multiple ways to do this. Um, equal groups, we start with our groups and we add the numbers in there and then it becomes a repeated addition, arrays becomes our repeated addition, it all kind of goes back to that repeated addition of repeating that number over and over again as you add and thinking about 6 and 6 is 12 and 6 and 6 is 12 and 12 and 12 is 24, so there's all sorts of different ways but the, the more fluent you become, the more facts that you have memorized where you don't have to apply these strategies, that's what's going to help you. Just like in addition, when you learned your addition strategies and you didn't have to count on your fingers anymore, more, became a lot quicker, a lot more efficient, right? So one of the things that you're going to be doing for today, I think on your checklist I have A, but then on this um, I switched it to D because I want to talk about A when we're on our Teams meeting tomorrow um, because it's so fascinating to me. So if you skip down to D, D is about spinning and multiplying. Also, B and E are also very similar. They're going to be um, some other games and things like that that you can review your multiplication with. So if you scroll down to D, what you'll see is it's got a spin and multiply game. You can do this one of two ways. I did post it to Seesaw, and so you could just practice spinning the spinner. Um, you could roll a dice or something like that in front of you, and then what you'll do is... Um, Let's say I get two, and I think this game you're multiplying by two. So if I get a seven, I'm going to multiply by two, and I'm going to get seven plus seven, and that's 14. So I would go all the way to this 14 space here. And then you could color in that square your color. And then let's say um, my partner gets two times 11. Well, they would get to go all the way here to 22. So there are online spinners. If you just search for online spinner, you can play online. You can color it on Seesaw or you can print it out and do it with game pieces so you can play over and over again. This game you're familiar with, we've done a few versions of here. This one is you're multiplying the number by three and then you're covering the amount. So if I get three and I spin a three, then I'm gonna look for a nine and I'm gonna color in that um, circle. Eventually you're gonna start running out of numbers and so you're gonna see who gets more at the end of it. So again, I posted this one on Seesaw so you could color it in on Seesaw or you can just print it out and play it that way. The extension for Activity D is to create your own game. So this was a game that I have ready to go. Um, it's got the game board. You just put in your directions here. You put in the numbers here and your title here. So if you're spinning and multiplying again, it could be spin and multiply by fours or by fives or whatever you want to practice. You could do that this way. But let's say you have another idea for a game. You want to do a card game or you want to do a different game board. You don't want to do it in this way. Maybe you want to do one like this. Or maybe you want to do one with more squares. Or maybe you just want to have flashcards that you're practicing and you're, you're creating a game that way. That's definitely an option. So you can practice it in, in as many different ways as you want. Um, and you can create your own games um, to help you practice. Pinterest, if you haven't heard of it, is... Um, teachers, one of their best friends. We, we get a lot of ideas from Pinterest just from other teachers and other things like that. There are some multiplication games. I just went straight onto Pinterest and I searched multiplication games to give me an idea. I can also search by third grade, fun. I can do printables if I want to find one that's already printed, but it's basically going to inspire you to get some new ideas. So for example, this one they're using cards and it looks like they've got it set up in a spiral game board around and they would roll the dice and multiply with that number. Um, this one we've played in class before. It's called um, Array Capture, and basically you roll two dice, and that's what you make your array, and then whoever can get more arrays, um, more space is going to be the winner. Um, there's bingo games using it. You could play multiplication squares. 
there's just look this is how using uno and war and here's one using an egg carton and marbles so there's so many different ideas out there and i know that you guys could come up with some really great ones on your own um this looks like a fun way to practice getting up and down um you could play with hopscotch you could play with Lego bricks. There's so many ways to practice it that that's why I wanted to leave it open for you today to come up with your own game of how you want to practice. So again, even just doing a Google search, there's lots of different games that you can print out. There's online games, things like that. But I really want to challenge you to come up with something unique and creative that works for you guys. So one of the things that we used to do when we were teaching my little sister her letters was we would write the letters out on the... Um, on the street and we would have to hop to the letters. So we would say, okay, hop to uh, letter A and she would have to go jump over to letter A and things like that. So maybe instead it could be that you roll what or whatever two numbers you land on, those two you have to multiply together, those types of things. There's so many fun ways to practice. It's just about being creative and coming up with them. So again, check out Pinterest. Um, if you don't have an account, I believe that you can just, um, you have to have your parents help you. So, um, they will set up an account or something like that. Um, I think that there's a way if you don't have it logged in. Um, yeah, it's going to ask you to create an account before you can log in. So you'd have to have your parents help you out with that um, just to get some some ideas if that's where you want to go. But like I said, you can search Google to get some ideas as well, or you can just use that template that was provided for you here. So again, have fun with it get creative, practice that multiplication. Um, if you look at the other activities for this week on my um, week at a glance, you'll notice that I did, I have one activity per day and that we're not highlighting those B and E. Um, here's E. E, you're just filling in skip counting, so that's gonna be your multiplying by twos, and then you're filling in, do a quick little timed test to see how quickly you can get those answers done. And then um, B is gonna be another array game where you're using um, this to create your array and then show your repeated addition. So that's just another really good way to review those if that's something that you want. I will definitely have those on Seesaw for you um, as an option. And then we'll talk about um, this pattern art tomorrow and time and money, okay? So I hope you guys have a great day and I look forward to our, our team's meeting tomorrow where we're gonna explore the Fibonacci sequence, which is really, really um, a cool thing. And then we're gonna do a fun art project with it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon.